Video Productions. What's going on YouTube? All right, so my camera's giving me a hard time. This is the third time I'm trying to record this damn video. Okay, so what I'm doing in this video is I am, or I had just installed my new CB radio in this 4th gen Cummins or 2018 Ram 2500. Now I have the stick shift, um, so it's different console setup, you know, ideally right here. This is your ideal spot to install it, but I installed mine right here, and I'll tell you how in a second. Uh, just so you know, I know this is a question uh, people are going to wonder if it rubs up against your leg. Uh, not really. I mean, no. I mean, I, I touch it with my leg when I drive, but it doesn't bother me at all. I'm six foot, so it's it's pretty convenient. And if you're wondering about my Clint Eastwood setup over here and all these damn blankets and stuff, let's, I got the Star Wars one underneath here. Uh, this is for my dog. I had uh, ordered, like back here, I got the Carhartt uh, second row seat covers. I ordered first row seat covers for it, but car ID never sent them so I still got to take the dog with me so I'm trying to protect the seats the only way I can and to be honest with you I'm now debating on just not getting first row seat covers or at least not for a while because I mean that works so why, why do I want to spend another $260 for it anyway back to the CB so this is a Cobra 29 LX pretty much like every other CB you see inside a uh, pickup truck or almost anywhere really they're extremely popular um, anyway but that's not the point so what I did to set this up as you can tell um, it's got the first mount the first mount there and then it's got this little ram strip I'll show you that in a second um, the main the only alternative I have in this truck really is the dash and the only reason that I didn't do it on the dash is one main reason, and that's theft. You know, I used to live in Dallas. I've had my uh, radio stolen out of my that Dodge over there. I've had my radio stolen out of my 07 Dodge that I used to have. I, uh, I mean, we've, I've been broken into a few times for very. I've been broken into, and they didn't steal anything. Um, not that a lot of people still steal CB radios. I mean, I guess. Theoretically, people might. I'm just not as popular as it probably used to be, but you know, people might not know what it is. It's electronic. It's big. It's shiny. It's nice looking. People think it's worth money. Whatever the hell it is, and uh, you know, it doesn't really impede your vision at all. I mean, as you can tell, I mean, I've, I've set it on the dash just to look, and I mean, it's not going to impede your vision. You could do that. It'd be perfectly fine. It would work. And to be honest with you, some people aesthetically don't like it. But I do. I mean, I like the way it looks on a dash. It looks kind of cool. It's very convenient. You can just reach out, you know, just adjust it. It's really cool. But, you know, I'm just doing out of sight, out of mind, you know. If they don't see it, they see my little Clint Eastwood tacky little blanket right there. I think I'm just some poor dude with a nice work truck. They move on. That works for me. So, that that's the main reason. And another reason is I had a buddy of mine, he got pulled over. DOT or state trooper pulled them over and uh, they didn't say it to him but you know they pulled him over because they thought it was a radar I mean the cop did tell him that he thought it was a radar but you know that's probably the main reason he got pulled over cop thinks you got a radar you're out speeding all the time that's why you go out and buy a radar well he got pulled over for that so even though you if you look at it up close you can tell the CB but at a glance you might not be able to notice that so that's just another reason why I'm just gonna leave it off the dash, you know, keep it out of sight, out of mind right there. Works well. I can still adjust it, I can still get to it real easy. I'm not the minute, it's already adjusted. It's not tuned, I gotta tune it. I'm going out to the country in a couple of days, so I'm gonna tune it when I go out there. Um, other than that, um, that's the main thing about it. Um, next, I'm gonna go on, I'll go show y'all how I got that antenna set up. It's got its power cable that I've routed under here and out through a gasket. And then same thing with this. This is a regular CB antenna. It's our uh, coax cable. It's not the ones that you're supposed to use with the antenna, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, and yes, uh, this is my original floor mat that I use because you know I have the I have the regular mount on here, and uh, that I have that screwed into the plastic, and you know this still tilts. You know it tilts, so it tilts outward so I use this floor mat and I drilled it in there I use this floor mat to prevent it from tilting and it just stays still and it looks kind of cool like that a little bit professional looking like it's uh 
OEM. <laughs> oh, another thing I was gonna tell y'all about how I got this uh, power cable and auxiliary cable. You can't see it because it's too dark, but I got it routed through a grommet under there. And under that grommet, uh, it's a grommet under a harness, and that harness is like 20 different wiring harnesses all bundled together and wrapped around in tape. And, and um, it's right underneath that, there's a grommet. I took it out, drilled it, drilled a hole too big. And uh, what I did was I just put black silicone over it and then over the black silicone once it dried I sprayed that flex seal that crap you see on commercials it doesn't work that well it works okay but it worked for what I was using it for which was you know just covering up and smoothing it out making it look nice um, black silicone is not what really you should use it's not the best thing to do but I mean it it works the reason I use it is because I had it and I didn't feel like buying anything else so anyways and, uh, the power cable directly to the battery with a butt connector and I spliced the wire because the uh, the stock uh, cable is too short for it to go all that far so I spliced about two more feet into there and then I have just a 10 foot coax cable I don't have the right kind that's just right there and a real thin wire that goes in this is obviously thicker it's hitting it a little bit and I might change it out to a thinner coax cable because this is kind of a thick coax cable um, this is the mount that I got from uh, Wright Channel Radios, and then this is not, mine didn't come with a, a stud of any kind. It, it says on the website it comes with a stud, mine didn't. It just had just this, that was it. And um, since this coax is so big, it actually puts a little bit of pressure right here, and it actually keeps it completely still. I mean, that does not move at all. So I didn't have to, I know some people have drilled here and put washers, but I didn't have to do that because of this antenna. So that stays still, and then this is just a, a three foot fire stick. I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the mount from Wright Channel Radios, three foot fire stick. Uh, it's got a 10 foot uh, CB antenna that I have routed kind of the same place I, where I routed the power cable. It's just kind of up behind the dash where it's kind of straight because you're not supposed to coil coax cables. And then, um, you know, I got the stock uh, microphone, speaker, whatever, and I just had it, I just, you know, mounted that right there and yeah it might look ugly when I take it off but it sure is convenient when you're right here and just you know that's that's pretty damn convenient so. uh, and that's pretty much it I mean just you know you got your stock mounts and a little ram carpet mount power directly to the battery it did have to like I said I did have to splice it add some wire to it I used 14 gauge wire to splice it although 16 gauge would probably be better I, I really feel like that's an 18 gauge wire i've read other people use like one step bigger or two steps bigger with wire so that's what i did i just used uh, 14 gauge but you could easily get away with 16 gauge and maybe get away with 18 gauge um 16 gauge would probably be the best though um and other than that i mean that's that's it it's a pretty simple setup so uh it's just a one way to do a uh, CB radio in this generation truck. So hope you like the video and until next time.